friends, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and you are watching the series on the UFT tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we spoke about standard checkpoint, which was a universal checkpoint, which will help you to add any type of uh, property check for any object, where for each object, you can add multiple properties at the same time. But today, we are working on a different checkpoint of the same, that is text checkpoint. So we will be understanding that how the text checkpoint really works and what are the limitations of text checkpoint in case uh, there are some basic things which I've already spoken, discussed in the previous tutorial. So please follow the, uh, please just go to the standard checkpoint tutorial which will help you to understand some of the basic definitions and other things which will be really helpful for you to understand any further tutorials on checkpoints. So. Let's quickly get started. All I would need to understand a checkpoint is to compare the text value from any of the object and look for whether it is exactly captured as the same expected or not. So generally all you would need is enter a value, a select a value from drop down or any such object which contains a text and then you add a checkpoint for text checkpoint. Generally, the text checkpoint has a limitation, so it does not work on desktop applications, which I'll be showing you right here. So all I have to do is have an application with me and be in the recording mode. So go ahead with the record option, and here you can go to the checkpoints and click on text checkpoint. But for that, I need to enter a value. So let me just quickly mention a value here in the username and uh, go for text checkpoint. And you just have to click on the object to capture the value and say okay it will prompt you that what is that i have captured here so if you see here the value what i should be expecting here is john but uh, it's showing me wpf acft agent name which could be a backend property but it's not not even acft it is edit so wpf edit so it's not what i was expecting to be captured here and that's the reason i said to you that text checkpoint text area checkpoint accessibility checkpoint these are some of the checkpoints we are not compatible with the expected uh, or desktop applications so if you want to do any kind of such checks like maybe text check or enable property or say it is a uh, a read only option focused xy coordinates you can generally go back to a standard checkpoint and use it for any application any object any property so let's see <clears throat> where it works so i'm just quickly logging in because this is not the compatible thing i just wanted to show you the limitations so here let me just switch to uh, any other place like portland and uh, flying to sydney and this as uh, okay let it be economy now let's add some checkpoints here and that is tech checkpoint for this city portland and if you see the expected result let's go okay all right so you know it works at some places which are more you know compatible with the add-in or the uft but it's not reliable so you, you're not supposed to use text checkpoint if you really want to verify the text of a desktop application i recommend standard checkpoint and for standard checkpoint you can just quickly go back to the previous tutorial and have a look so here is the expected result we can parameterize it we can work on the cases so here generally the case options or the settings additional settings are when you talk about match case so for example the expected result is capital p portland and the a script includes sometimes small p then it will just match the case and go for the execution and say it is pass but what if you want to exactly look for the cases as well like whether the data is case sensitive or not for example there we have mentioned small p then the actual should also be small p for that you can enable these things if it is a multiple word tick checkpoint then you can allow to ignore spaces or disallow to do the same if in case your text does not appear on the screen, you can enable that as well to just cross check that whether it is enabled, uh, it was displayed on the screen or not. And there's a timeout, which you know from the previous thing. All you just have to do is go to the previous tutorial to understand in more details. Say OK, it is added. Now I would like to add for one more, the text checkpoint, Sydney, say OK. And just click OK here. Then maybe another one for economy, say OK. And stop. Or maybe if you want, you can close it. 
and stop recording. So now I've got tier three checkpoints. You know that these are the checkpoints again from the previous tutorial. So I would not I would not like to make this tutorial longer. Just you can go back to the previous tutorial and get the basic understanding of other things. So here are the checkpoints where you can see check checkpoint with the name of the checkpoint. The checkpoint details can be viewed in object repository, which is in resources. But let's run the application now and see what result do we have. So click. All right, so let's uh, play this and see. Now for that, I need to have an application on the screen. The reason I'm just uh, launching it manually is because I'm not using an invoke command. If you want, you can use the invoke command for this. So all you're expecting is a pass because the expected and actual are same. So let's see what do we get. All right, so seems like that have passed. So both the checkpoints should give me a pass status. Yes, it is a green tick here, you can see. And uh, all right, so it shows me a pass. All three, uh, I have added check to three checkpoints. So you can have a look. Expected is equal to actual. So one state is Portland, Sydney, and the class was economy. Now quickly, just to show you that how the result can fail, let me go to object repository where I can find the details of the checkpoint. I'm changing the class value to business where the actual would remain the same. Expected is being modified. The fly from city as maybe uh, London and uh, two city as, uh, as, let's put it as Zurich. Now, how do you def decide on what exactly the actual and expected is? The one which you mentioned in the settings here in the repository is your expected and the actual is mentioned in the uh, script. So whatever you see here is the actual value which you mentioned in the script. So, oh yeah, I forgot, forgot to tell you one thing here that when you are in object repository and you make changes, you really don't have a save button to save it. The moment you close object repository, it gets updated automatically. So you don't really have to worry about saving about something in this repository. So again, giving the, the application. So let's run the test. I'm just keeping the application open. And we are expecting a fail here for all three checkpoints because as we have changed the value. And that's a timeout being called in. Uh, 10 seconds wait till the final result has been declared. All right, so we are having the result here on the screen right now and everything has failed. Let's just drop down and see what exactly it is. So from city, it says Portland, but it was actually London. There's a justification on the screen with a snapshot. Uh, to city, it says uh, captured to Sydney, but the expected was Zurich. And, uh, you know, the economy, of course, uh, because we were expecting, oh, the third one has passed. Maybe we should, we should have made it to business or something. Anyways, uh, what we wanted to check and understand here is like uh, the execution has to be uh, defined in terms of uh, checkpoint, that what is the text checkpoint and how the text can be verified using UFT. So in this tutorial, we understood the same. Uh, stay tuned for upcoming tutorials on uh, to UFT, where we'll be learning different checkpoints uh, hereafter. We have a lot many checkpoints to go for. In case you uh, like the video, please do subscribe to the channel to get notified and uh, follow the tutorial series. So more than that, in case you have any queries during the video, please feel free to comment it below. I'll be happy to revert you back on with more details. Till then, keep learning, keep practicing, keep exploring. Take care. Happy learning team.